guys welcome back to another episode of the wonderful arsenio zsl podcast and for everyone who is watching on youtube and on my facebook page i just hope that you soak in on this lime green i got going on just hoping that the water and the skies do not open up or i'm gonna be in for a world of hate at the moment but nonetheless my goodness gracious first and foremost man i must give all my graces in the world i've realized and if you guys see the number three most played podcast that i have it is a lecture by the Beluga Well, okay? This had 500 plays in a week just a week ago. And so I'm like, oh, hell no, I need to hurry up and put more out there. Because I realize that you guys do love the lectures and you do love the discussions. So many people have followed me on Instagram from Mexico saying, oh, yeah, I heard you talking about a whale. And I'm like, oh, that's got to be the Beluga Whale. And so here I am doing more of it um, because, you know, with the lectures, social networking, we're talking about note taking. You see all these podcasts that have a thousand, the summer trip discussion, enrollment, uh, what is it, 1,300 discussion, lecture, astrology, 1,600, lecture, help and behavior, 1,000, almost 700. I realize that you guys absolutely love these types of podcasts. So here I am breaking one down for you. We're gonna do some note taking today, okay? And what we're going to do right after this note taking, we're gonna dive right into the questions. Now, I really, I haven't, to be honest with you, I didn't even check the answers or anything. I just say, you know what, let's go on and let's go uh, complete this and just hope for the best. You know, that's what, that's what I do, all right? And so, in saying that, are you ready to take some notes? Okay, because this is gonna be good, this is gonna be real good. So I wanna hurry up and quickly make sure that yes, I am a sharing of the sound and of course, I am sharing the sound, and what I'm going to do is play this. It's going to be a discussion, as I've already said, tutor position, and we have two snippets asked questions, all right? This may be somewhere in the ballpark of about two and a half minutes, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Therefore, it's going to be a sexy two minutes and a 45 seconds. So here we go. Discussions, very easy, main ideas. I've been doing a lot of training with one of my students right now. She has a tendency of just sitting back and doing nothing, like literally just soaking in all the information. Some people are very good at that. Some people aren't too good at that, okay? But just look at how I take my notes, my main ideas, my keywords, my content words, see how I structure it all together, make sure I write down, you know, whatever it may be, and then I'll go from there. So in saying that, people, let's dive in. Good afternoon. What can I help you with today? Hi. I was wondering if I was hired for the tutor position or not. Let me see here. As of two days ago, there were no more tutor positions available, and your name isn't on the list. Really? I thought for sure I had it. Would you mind double-checking? I really want this. I'm not sure why your name wouldn't be anywhere. Come on, come on. Oh, that's right. I was on vacation for the last week and never looked at the notes from my co-workers. So maybe one of these notes says I got the job? We're about to find out. Yes, this note says you have been hired for the tutoring position. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience or worry I may have caused you. I'd be mad. I should be more on top of things. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is great. <laughs> I was really scared there for a second, but it doesn't matter now because I got the job. Yes, congratulations. And I am sorry again for not having consulted my notes ahead of time. It's all good. Oh man, I can't believe it. Oh, now I'm getting nervous. Do you have, like, any advice on tutoring? I really don't want to mess this up. Sure. One of the first and best pieces of advice is to be confident in yourself. As long as you walk into every tutoring session with confidence, the students you're working with will see you as a valuable resource and respect you. Right, right. That makes sense. I mean, I yeah, wouldn't have does. got the position if I didn't know my stuff. Exactly. You're qualified and it's important to remember that. It should help with the nerves too. Okay, great. Anything else? Well, this is a bit smaller of an issue, but it is important. The computer in here always has technical issues, so it's a good idea to prepare your notes on paper so that there's less risk of them getting lost. Yeah, then I just have to not lose them. Mm-hmm. So being organized will be important too. If you don't already, you may want to get a separate binder just to keep together all of your tutoring materials, the same way you would organize your classwork. Man, I feel like I should be able to think of these things. Well, I'm sure you can. You're just nervous. 
so ultimately remain calm and think it through. You've got some time to think about how you want to approach this so that you feel prepared every time you walk into a tutoring session. Okay, between what you told me and what I can figure out on my own, yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Thank you for all your help. Glad to be of assistance. Congratulations again on getting the position, and good luck. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day. Fantastic. There it is. Wonderful, wonderful. So here we go. I hurry up and wrote down number one just in case. So he came in initially to figure out if he was hired for the position, okay? And the lady checked and said, oh, two days ago, there were no more uh, open positions. And she saw that his name was not on the list. And then the guy went on to say, can you double check it? He needs to be on the list. And she said, oh, that's right. I was on vacation for the last week. So she didn't have the notes of her coworkers. And so she continued looking and looking. What is that noise? That is the loudest ringtone. Anyways, okay, here we go. Let's, let's focus here. So sorry for inconvenience. Uh, she's going to be more on top of things. But most importantly, he was hired. And then obviously you heard it in his voice. He's like, oh my God. And then he asked her, do you have any advice on tutoring? Now. Obviously, what ended up happening was she said, okay, first and foremost, you got to be confident. And you know what's so fun and funny because I'm a tutor, you know, a soon-to-be transformation and high-performance coach and, you know, all these other business things. Man, I'm going to be – so many different things I'm going to be doing. Uh, you know, tutoring and being a coach in TOEFL is just one of the very beginning things that I'm doing. But right after this, oh, my God, it's going to be far bigger. Anyways, it's funny how I'm, you know, one of those tutors and yet here we are listening to someone become a tutor. So here we go. Be confident, okay? They'll always look at you as a valuable resource and respect you. 1,000%. I know that from personal experience. Now, he wouldn't have gotten the job if he didn't know. He's fully qualified. This is what all my podcasts and all my videos have taught me. I am beyond qualified, even bigger, way bigger than everything else that is out there, you know, where you have to pay a lot more money for these big corporations and them having unqualified, not I wouldn't say unqualified, but teachers who have not proven their proving grounds, right? So here we go. Let's stay on track here. Should help now, obviously, being qualified and being confident and getting the job, that should already help with the nerves, right? This she talked about this is a smaller issue, but important. Computer has technical issues, so make sure you have a binder, keep all your notes on paper, less risk of it getting lost, okay? And then uh, being organized is also important too. So again, get separate binder is what he needs to do. Get a separate binder. And again, with this tutoring materials, and it's just like, like the same way he organizes his classwork. Now, he's like, man, I should be coming up with all this. Listen, first time, buddy, you're just nervous. Remain calm, think it through, figure out how you want to approach it. And it's all about execution. There it is. It's all about like putting it into your own words. I realize that you end up becoming much, much better if you could put it into your own words. So in saying that, let's go into number one. So it says here, number, I don't even know where number one is. Oh, there it is, of course. Why does this student go to speak with the librarian? He needs to attend a workshop. He didn't say that. Rent books? Nope. Check on job application? Yes. He wanted to know if he was hired. That's it right there. He wasn't there for books. You did not hear books at any given point throughout the entire audio. And again, a workshop, absolutely not. You didn't hear that either. So that's why the key words and understanding that very first question or the first couple of sentences in which are exchanged, exchanged, I'm sorry, I had to repeat that because I butchered it, is very, very important. All right. But then you have number two. What does the librarian's response imply? All right. And so what I have to hurry up and do, and again, this is one of the ones where I have to put it, the snippet on. So I'm going to hurry up and throw this on. I believe it's about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and we're going to go from there. I'm not sure why your name wouldn't be anywhere. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, that's right. That's I right. was on vacation for the last week and mm -hmm. never looked at the notes from my coworkers. There it is. Okay. So what does she imply about that? Well, again, it should be somewhere. She's like, come on, come on. She's looking through it. And she's like, that's right. Vacation, coworkers. Oh, I get it now. See what I mean? So what does she imply? That the student's name might be on one of the overlooked notes? That's it. 
B, that the student is out of luck? No, it was more about her, not about the student being out of luck. C, that she feels that the student is disorganized? It has nothing about him being disorganized. It has to be about her being on top of things. Putting everything into other words, it's critical. And of course, the last one, that the student is disappointed. It has nothing. He was initially disappointed when he came. He's like, really? Hold on, I'm pretty sure I got the job. And so he asked her to double, you know, double check. And she did. And she said, okay, come on, come on. Oh, I was on vacation. Didn't look at the notes. Let me look at the notes. You got the job. That's it. So A, that the student's name might be on one of the overlooked notes. Yes, because she says she didn't look at her colleague's notes yet. That's how you do it. Let's look at number three. What advice does the librarian give to the student about tutoring? To be confident in himself, that was number one, and I wrote it down as number one. B, to stay organized. She said, you know, being organized was also very, very important. And then C, to remain calm. Now, again, what is she doing in regards to the whole remaining calm? Because, again, to be confident in himself is big. She said being organized is very, very important. She gave him recommendations, but did she say it as something that, oh, you know, this is something that I really, you know, that he really needs to have. And then D, it says A and C. And so this one's a little bit harder. We're going to scroll down. I'm going to see how you go. But again, what I did, be confident in himself, was the number one. But she didn't say number two or number three. She did say, you know, that, you know, the computer was a little bit bad and whatnot. But again, the whole staying organized it wasn't number two, stay organized. Number three, was it number three, you have to remain calm? No, because at the very end, all I wrote down was, you, you know, you're just nervous. You just have to remain calm, but it wasn't one of the numbers. It wasn't one of the things that she recommended. So think about it, keep it in mind. If you're listening to this on podcast or on YouTube or in video form on Facebook. And again, I'm gonna be revealing the answers at the very end. So here we go. Number four. Why does the librarian suggest the student to prepare the notes on paper? Now, remember, for what? It's because of the little problem, the setback, and it's about the computer, right? That's what I wrote down in my notes. So A, it says, because it could help the student stay calm? Hell no. B, because the librarian was on vacation last week? There is no relevance to that. C, because it is easier to write down notes on paper than on the computer? Absolutely not. That is absolutely false. As you can see, I could write a hell of a lot more on, on the computer. D is the answer. Because the computers in the library always act up. That's it. All right. And so here we go. Why does the librarian respond in this way? This is the last snippet that I'm going to be sending to you right here. And of course, right now. Here we go. Man, I feel like I should be able to think of these things. Okay. Well, I'm sure you can. You're just nervous. You're just so nervous. ultimately, remain calm and think, calm. It think it through. You've got some time to think about how you want to approach this so that you feel prepared every time you walk into a tutoring session. There it is. And of course, hey, I'm your guy. I'm always prepared. Anyway, so in saying that, people, why does the librarian respond in this way? He feels that he should be on top of things like this and that he should be very quick. But she's like, you're just nervous. You need to be calm. Going back to question number three, you know, C, it says to remain calm. But was that one of the pieces of advice that she gave him? It's a very close one. All right. But nonetheless, let's go back to question number five. Why does she respond this way? To help the student calm down and realize his capabilities? Could be. B, to do the student's job for him? How the hell can she do a, tutor a, a tutoring job when she's a librarian? No. C, to get him to be more nervous? No. The goal is for him not to be nervous. Ridiculous. Get out of here. To prevent him from being a good tutor. <laughs> no, she's giving him little small little snippets in terms of, listen, you're going to be a great tutor. All right. If you go in there confident with this and this and this. So again, my guess would be number five A. So here we go. Let's check out uh, the answers. All right. So Number one is C, let's go up here. He wants to check on his job application, that's correct. Number two is A, that the student's name might be on one of the overlooked notes. Now, number three I'm interested in, 
And number three is D, A and C. Now, it's a little hard. It's a little hard because I was like, man, this is a very tricky one. You know, and with the notes I had written down, I'm like, okay, I know she said confident. But B doesn't make sense. And then normally when you see A and C, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. But she did say uh, stay organized, but obviously she said confident. So I know A is the answer. So it must be A or D because th that's what it came down to. And so at the very end, like you heard in the snippet, she said it, okay? You're just nervous, be calm, okay? And then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So number three is D. If you guessed it right, fantastic. Let's go into the next one. Number four is D because the computers always act up. Act up meaning they mess up. They have a tendency of always breaking down. It's kind of like when I have my old MacBook Air, that thing was the bane of all existence. The worst thing on the planet. I had never been so mad before in my life because of that garbage MacBook. But now, voila. And then number five, why does the librarian respond in this way? Okay. And let's go back down. A, to help the student calm down and realize his capabilities. Welcome back to another TOEFL IBT discussion podcast or video. If you guys watch this, thank you so much. If you're watching this right off, um, what is it, on my membership, because whoever is on my membership, I normally send this immediately uh, to the WhatsApp, uh, to their WhatsApp, because obviously we have a WhatsApp and I always send them information and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so if you're watching this, make sure you take the notes. And again, I hope you enjoyed this, if you're still having difficulty with your note taken, obviously on the membership, reach out to me. And again, if any of you are interested in any online coaching or the TOEFL listening course, which is going to be coming up, that's a learn as you go thing. Uh, make sure you inquire. Follow me on my Arsenio's ESL podcast a page on Instagram, and I'll be seeing you guys there. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.